Right then, so this is going to be a short video because I only have to get down to where it says find hidden page in that file. So the other one was a long video, but this one's going to be quite a short one, which is nice. Uh, right, so expand your brackets now, so you need to expand and simplify for this one. Huh. More simplify, actually. Right, so what have we got? I've got 3t times t to the 4, so that's 3t to the 5. I've got 3t times by minus t back to the minus 3, so that's 3t to the minus 2. Be careful, you've not differentiated. All you've done is times so that becomes 3 times 5, so that's 15, t to the 4. Then it becomes minus 3 times minus 2, which is the plus 6, t to the minus 3. There, I hope that wasn't too fast. So let's expand this one. So I've got 5t times a 2t cubed is a 10t to the 4. And then a 5t times by minus 3t to the minus 4, which is a minus 15t to the minus 3. Then, if I differentiate it, I should get 40t cubed plus 45t to the minus 4. There we go. So this one, I put simplify up here, because this one you have to split it. So you've got different ways of seeing this. You can see it as 3x to the 5 plus x to the half multiplied by x to the power minus 1, if you take it off. So that's one way of doing it. So that's kind of following the expanding way. So that gives us a 3x to the 4 plus x to the minus a half. The other way of doing it is to split it as two separate fractions. Personally, I think that's nicer, but the pack does it as 3x to the 5 all divided by x plus x to the half all divided by x. So if I take the power of 1 away from it, it's going to be 3x to the 4 plus x to the minus a half. I like that way better, to be fair. I like my little box to it. But remember, I've not done anything with it yet, so I need to differentiate it. All I've done is tidy it up algebraically. So 3 times 4 is 12. Take one off the power. Then bring the power down. Take one off the power. It gives me minus 4 and 2. So let's have a look at this one then. So it would be a 2x cubed minus x to the third all to the power of x to the minus 1. So I should have a 2x squared minus x to the minus 2 thirds. That's the one. So I'll split it as two separate fractions if you want. And then a 2x squared with a minus x to the minus 2 thirds. That's quite, that's worse than my right. You can't really see that, can you? Because it's a copy of a PDF. But if you differentiate it, you get a 4x from the 2x squared and a plus 2 thirds x with an x to the minus 5 over 3. That should be a minus, actually. I'll zip that up there somewhere. All right, so let's have a look at this last one. Now, don't write this bit down, but what people do is they'll write it as 5x to the minus 1, but it isn't. It's not that. If you can see it, if it's easier, see it as a fifth times by 1 over x. So then that becomes 1 fifth of x to the power minus 1 because it's only the x bit that we take up. So people get that wrong all the time. So if I differentiate it, bring the minus 1 to the front, take 1 off the power, it's that. Uh, so that. So hopefully that should be two thirds of x to the minus two. Yep. Then bring the two down, so minus four thirds x to the minus three. There. And I think the vid three, the third vid, is fine for this next bit because I seem to have checked it. So hopefully that's okay. Right. Bye bye.